in this video, I will be making hydroiodic acid that I will not be using for illicit purposes. To make the hydroiodic acid, I will be using potassium iodide, phosphoric acid, and deionized water. First, I measured out 20 grams of potassium iodide and then added that to a 500 milliliter round bottom flask. Then, I measured out 10 milliliters of 85% phosphoric acid and added that as well. Finally, 6 milliliters of deionized water was added. I then tried to stir the mixture to try and get as much of the potassium iodide to dissolve as possible, however, even with a lot of stirring, I couldn't get all of it to dissolve. I set up a simple distillation apparatus with the 500 milliliter round bottom flask as the distilling flask at one end and a 50 milliliter round bottom flask as the receiving flask at the other end. A water condenser was used and attached to a cheap fish tank pump. I then turned on the heating to the maximum setting my hot plate would allow. I didn't use a stir bar here because I was afraid it might get destroyed, but in hindsight, using one probably would have been a good idea. I then insulate the setup with aluminum foil to keep in the heat. I then waited for the hydroiodic acid to start distilling over. When combined and heated, the potassium iodide and phosphoric acid should undergo a double replacement reaction that results in hydroiodic acid. It took a while, but after about 30 to 40 minutes, I started seeing the dark red hydroiodic acid start to come over. After an hour and a half from when the heat was turned on, not much more liquid was coming over, so I turned off the heat. I noticed there was still quite a bit of unreacted potassium iodide solid still remaining in the 500 milliliter round bottom flask. I then detached the 50 milliliter round bottom flask and collected the hydroiodic acid that had come over. I added this to about 2.5 milliliters of hydroiodic acid that I had made previously for a total of 6.5 milliliters, meaning I had made about 4 milliliters. Assuming what I collected is at the max concentration of 57% for the hydroiodic acid azeotrope, I calculate the 4 milliliters corresponds to a percent yield of about 25%, which is pretty low. In order to increase this yield, I think I could have added more water and acid in order to get all the potassium iodide to dissolve. This would allow more of it to react. Additionally, I could have also used a stir bar for better mixing and a smaller distilling flask to make it easier for the distillate to come over. Thanks for watching.